So regrowing. So now you've harvested your greens. Commercially, we would have just disposed of this because we have big flats and obviously the time it retakes, we would have been planting on a rotation. So we would have more to go in the place of the ones coming off. And we used to dispose of this with um, a local farmer who would put it into the, you know, so he's have chickens and pigs and whatnot um, and just green compost waste. So it would go into that, not a problem. Um, something I have a go at it. Um, so you can put it into your green waste, depending on what you've got. Um, if you don't have outside space or compost or anything like that, um, the you know, sort of recycling centres for green waste, maybe in cities they have that, so you can get rid of it there. Um, but you can leave these. So if you have more trays, like the kits are, so the kits are designed that you'd grow three or five crops, and then when you bring them into the light, the next batch will be planted. So you can either use anything else you've got and it's from the recycling if you wanted to keep these growing and just water them but because they're sort of small again and they're not they're not going to need as much water to feed the the plant that it, when it was grown just be careful not to over water and you'll still see bits of the root fur and things it looks a little bit moldy but it's it's not it's okay um i'm going to give these a little sprinkling now because they were harvested when they were dry and i'm just going to leave them when they do regrow they grow back a lot sparser and a little bit randomly actually you'll find like bits sprouting up here and there so i would always dispose of it and start again just because i do and i can and um it's just you get more of a yield from it so but if you wanted to get even double the amount then just keep them like that and just follow the steps that we have throughout these videos of keeping an eye on them each day and watering accordingly. And notice here, this one here, see the roots underneath? So some people would say that, you know, nutrition wise, we're not giving it any plant food. We don't need to, the nutrition is actually in the seed itself. That's why when you're, when you're growing microgreens, you don't need to give them plant food and actually it can it can do more harm than good to do that. I know I've had some people do that and it's not good. You don't need it. Um, they will continue to regrow. So if you again had the space, if you were in an urban survival situation and you had carpet or anything like that, or you know, you could literally just sprinkle the seeds and harvest them as you go and they will keep growing. So I'm hoping none of us are in that situation and that's a whole nother topic but that's what's great about these as I said um, you know you can grow them on pretty much anything uh, matting we've done some testing with um, hemp uh, grown in the UK they don't tend to grow as well as the coir um, obviously we've chosen the coir root for cleanliness for ease for organic certification um, and it's a sustainable um, product. So yeah, that's the regrow process.